What's up, world? This is Asosa once again. Truth over lies daily. Man, it's been so long since I've been on here doing things like this, doing something like this. Um, it's been a minute, man. I finally got some some spare thought time, <laughs> some mental bandwidth, as they say, to get back on here and start doing these again. And I'm so excited to be back. Um, I just decided, you know what, it doesn't matter what I have to do, doesn't matter what kind of things are on my schedule, but I'm just going to take some time and do these, and I'm going to start timing them to make sure they don't take too long. That way, I'll encourage myself and say, hey, it only takes 15 minutes to do. Go ahead and get you one in right quick. But um, anyway, this is uh, Truth Over Lies Daily, and basically, it's something where I try to answer questions that people message to me in my inbox or text message or, or whatever. Um, and I try to answer questions. If people have doubts, people have unbelief, people have beefs with the Bible, with Christianity, with with the commandments of God, with the faith of Jesus Christ, Bible, whatever. I try to answer those questions. You know, I don't try to put anybody on blast. I don't try to embarrass people. I just try to give answers because the Bible says every sheep needs a shepherd, you know, and there's um, Jesus cares for his people, and it's okay to ask questions. And you know, the Bible says that we're supposed to give people, as a pastor, we're supposed to give people knowledge and understanding. Um, so, you know, what I'm here, I'm here to do is just answer questions. Um, and these are some of the questions that people have sent me. And actually, some of these questions are so old, I don't even remember who, who asked this question for the day. Um, but I'm just going to go through them. I'm going to start going through them. Questions from several years ago and just keep going through them. Uh, maybe hopefully I'll be able to get to do a couple per week. And then we'll get to all the way to today's questions. All right. So this question says, hey, Sos, I heard that if there was adultery within the marriage, they could get divorced and then not be shunned upon. Is that correct? And so what this question is talking about is that whole teaching in church where, um, well, if there was adultery, then you can divorce, right? Because Jesus said in Matthew, he said, um, if uh, if you divorce one a wife and then marry another, you've caused her to commit adultery, except for being a case of fornication. Okay, so the scripture actually says, in case of being, except to be in a case of fornication, doesn't say adultery, but the modern church twists that scripture and says, well, adultery and fornication, they're the same thing. And that's actually a lie. And um, the church for hundreds of years never taught that because they un understood the scriptures. But there was a false teacher um, in the Catholic church a few hundred years ago. His name was Erasmus. And he actually introduced the doctrine, um, a humanist doctrine of, you know, you know, uh, if you were, um, if anything that happened in a marriage that made you feel basically uncomfortable, you could divorce if you made a mistake. If you were married, in a, in a, if you got drunk and got married, then you shouldn't be held to it, right? So he was coming up with all these excuses. And so he, he found some, he found the scripture and he kind of twisted the scripture and started teaching that it was okay to, um, to, to divorce and marry somebody else. But when Jesus was, was mentioning this, he was actually referring to Deuteronomy 22. In Deuteronomy 22, there was uh, an example of a man that married a maid, and he found out that she had lied about her virginity. And he was actually able to annul the marriage at that point because it was based on a lie. So that was based on fornication. It wasn't based on we get married, and then five years later, he's committing adultery, and then, or she's committing adultery, and then I'm going to divorce her and marry another one. It was talking about the wedding night. They got the sheets and the sheet. There's no blood on the sheets. So I was like, wait a minute. I thought she was a virgin and she lied to me. So this marriage is annulled, right? So that's what that scripture is talking about. And just in case you think that's not true, you can look at the very same book, Matthew chapter one, the exact same thing happened when uh, Joseph married, was engaged to Mary and he was uh she was found pregnant before they came together, okay? And what was he going to do? He was going to divorce her. He was using the Deuteronomy 22 provision. He was using 
um, the cause of fornication because she had fornicated before they came together. But luckily or blessedly, <laughs> the angel came to Joseph and said, well, this child is born of the Holy Ghost and it ended up being Yahushua, our savior. Um, and so that was a, a good thing. Um, and he could have legally used that fornication provision, not adultery provision, but a fornication provision to annul that marriage. But the angel showed and showed up and spoke to him. And so um, it's a lot of false teaching regarding, um, regarding divorce and remarriage, which is adultery, um, to justify it. But a lot of those excuses are not, not really valid. Um, but hey, you can check out some other resources. Uh, one is called Divorce and Remarriage, the Chosen Horse Within the Church. I got a link to it on this, under this video. And basically, it's a book that explains the whole history of divorce and remarriage and how that false teaching came into the church and and what it's done to the church and what it's done to families for the past few hundred years. And I also have a couple other other videos about it you can check out. But other than that, thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. Whenever you're watching this, God bless you. I love you. Um, and you can always inbox me for questions. Um, also want to make a, a quick announcement. I got a, we got a couple of new books to the fatherless and anointing of motherhood um you can check those out too um i'll put a link to it under this video uh, you can free have a free download for that actually you can probably download the qr code you can actually put just click your screen on the qr code and i'll put a picture of that down under the comments too so um thanks for tuning in again truth over last daily and so so god bless you and i'll talk to you soon